some questioners. Are they gonna get their dope on the street? Or are they gonna get their dope at fucking Walgreens? And I say it should be fucking Walgreens, cause Walgreens never gets it wrong. And you can use that as a commercial. Walgreens doesn't give you fentanyl when you ask for morphine. They certainly don't give you oxycodone when you ask for uh, when you ask for something else. I sorry, I don't do opiates. I don't know this shit. Um, but uh, <laughs> Woo! okay, slow down. Breathe. Right, put that slightly. Breathe. Huh. The reason for the volume of the area is so frequently is because what they think they're buying is not what they're buying. They're buying, oddly enough, legal fentanyl, prescription fentanyl. And it's a prescription legal fentanyl that's killing them. If these people were not buying of fentanyl, they might live long enough to go to NA. There are perfectly good programs out there, and any of you I'm talking to has an opiate problem, get to an NA meeting. Go to any church, they'll find you one. Go to come to my church, I'll find you one. In states that have legalized cannabis, opiate deaths have fallen by 25%. And this was not over the course of years, it was over the course of months. And why did that happen? It happened because cannabis is an exit drug from opiate addiction. And I recommend this to you. If you have a friend who's suffering through opiate withdrawal, and you want to help your friend, you give him some cannabis, and you tell him any time he feels like he has to get back on that train, he can come back to you, and you'll smoke him up, and you'll talk to him until he doesn't want to do that anymore. You can talk to them because they made us criminals too. Let me introduce my good friend, Caleb Dreyer, State House. Even if you can't vote for him, donate to his campaign. Get the word out there on YouTube. This guy rocks. He believes in liberty. Thank you. How y'all doing today? Y'all ready to smoke some cannabis? Yeah! Indeed. There you go. My name is Caleb Dyer. I'm a state representative. I represent the towns of Hudson and Pelham, New Hampshire. And I was one of four co-sponsors of the bill to legalize cannabis in the state of New Hampshire. Glenn Aldrich, the prime sponsor, unfortunately could not be here today as he has prior engagements. However, I would like to give you a little bit of the legislative background on this issue because it's something that we all need to be very much aware of and participate in. As a state rep, um, in co-sponsoring this legislation, we moved it through two committees in the House. We moved it through criminal justice and public safety, which the majority of the members on criminal justice and public safety voted to kill House Bill 656. We over... I think we're, we're pretty well maxed out. I wish I could be more loud. I'm sorry. However, on the floor of the New Hampshire House of Representatives, we overturned the inexpedient to legislate recommendation of that